Welcome to the Center for Reproductive Medicine and Robotic Surgery. Here you see a robotic-assisted laparoscopic myomectomy. The fibroid is about four times the size of the uterus and the patient was suffering from pelvic pain and recurrent miscarriages. After the laparoscopic trochers are placed, a thorough inspection of the pelvis is performed. Then the pedicle of the fibroid is cut using monopolar and bipolar current, which are mounted onto robot's arms. The small blood vessels, which are the cause of the bleeding, are desiccated by the current and thus the bleeding is stopped. Next, the base of the fibroid is approximated by sutures and staples. The arms of the robot are major innovations in robotic technology, thus making this surgery possible. You could see the significant surgical precision which is possible using this technology. The robot's arms allow for seven degrees of freedom, which is higher than that of a surgeon's hands. Moreover, there is no tremor at all, thus enabling precise surgery. The three-dimensional view enabled by the advanced optics of the robot gives the surgeon depth perception. This makes the surgery more precise. The suturing could be done without any difficulty. Once the knots are tied, the needle is then carefully removed from the patient's abdomen. Next, the fibroid is removed piecemeal using an instrument called the morselator. This machine cuts the fibroid tumor into small strips and they are simultaneously removed from the abdomen. Thus the fibroid is removed from the pelvis without any large incision. The recovery is rapid and patients have minimal post-operative pain and return to work within a week. The morselator you see here in use is a major advancement in laparoscopic technology which enables surgeons to remove large tumors through the keyhole incisions without opening the abdomen. Thus, post-op recovery is rapid with less pain. Moreover, there is no large abdominal scar. The chance of adhesion formation in the pelvis is also reduced by this technology. This patient conceived within three months of surgery and currently her pregnancy is ongoing with no complications.